LCD removal. To begin, you will want to have your Phillips head screwdriver and your putty knife handy. To begin, you will notice two Phillips head screws on the very bottom of the LCD, located here and here. Remove these. Once you have removed the Phillips head screws, it's time to remove the back case. To start, get your putty knife and gently insert it between the plastic piece and the front bezel. Pry back with your fingers and pop out of place. Do the same for the other side. If you can't get it to pop, try at a lower position. Once you have the bottom half out, do the same for the front half. You may not use as much force on the front half. Once it's out, simply remove the back and set it aside. The back of the LCD you will notice tape along the video cable, the eyesight cable, the black tape at the top, three strips of tape at the bottom, another strip of tape on the video cable, and a strip of tape covering the inverter cable. Remove this tape. Once you have the tape removed, 
there's an eyesight cable. Just flip back the bar and pull out the eyesight cable. You Once that's peeled back, now do the same for the video cable. And notice four screws along the side and the strip of tape holding the sleep magnet. On the accompanying side there are four more Phillips head screws. and there are two on the very top. Now simply remove the screws from the side of the bezel. and from the top and the accompanying side In removing the LCD, you want to be sure to get your putty knife between the LCD and the bezel. You want to start on the side and the accompanying side. Be sure to remove the sleep light magnet tape. and be sure to remove the inverter cable tape as well. To remove the inverter cable from the inverter board, simply lift up on the inverter wires and gently disconnect. at the top and gently insert your party knob and gently pry and on the bottom you will want to clear any wires from the party knob You will want to take extra care in separating the bottom from the bezel because the bezel is very fragile and can bend very easily. If you feel that you are bending the bezel, try another spot in the bezel and don't use as much force. Once it is separated from the bezel, simply lift out from the bottom. And gently pry out from the top and that is the removal of an LCD.